Dr. Khaled Matawa was born in Benghazi, Libya, and there spent his childhood and adolescence. After emigrating to the American South in 1979, Khaled finished high school and received degrees in economics and political science from the University of Tennessee. In the beginning, I think, uh, coming from a country and a situation where there was no real clarity as to what I was supposed to do. When I came to the United States, I was supposed to finish college in a field that was um, uh, supposed to be successful such as architecture or business or whatever and life would take care of itself from there on. Khaled began writing poetry in 1985 and his extraordinary gift quickly became apparent. Two of his most defining traits I would say uh, and are particularly unique to be joined in one person are his incredible intellectual rigor combined with his remarkable intellectual generosity. A respected professor and leading authority in his field, Khaled has to date published four poetry collections, co-edited numerous anthologies, and translated many literary works from Arabic to English. His poetry is his great contribution, uh, but that's a multifaceted contribution because he not only has written his own poetry out of his own soul, uh, but he has uh, done extensive work and selfless work in bringing uh, Arabic language poetry into English and translating it. Khaled's outstanding accomplishments, along with his ability to create awareness and understanding through poetry, between two regions that have struggled to identify with one another for decades, is a testament to his talent, influence and leadership. Khaled, I would say, is driven by a deep and profound passion for justice in the world. He models and lives for us a, an ability to move among different worlds and to produce a kind of true, generous intellectual diversity that I think probably is the hope of our species, uh, and he is the best of that. He is married to artist Reem Jibriel, with whom he has one daughter, Salma. The Libya project, the foundation that uh, Reem and I founded, the Areti Foundation for Arts and Culture, uh, emerged from our excitement about the change uh, in Libya uh, and our hopes to work with uh, young people there to try to recover a country that had been under dictatorship for 40 years uh, where the cultural and art sector had been uh, really uh, weakened. In 2014, Khaled Matawa was among 21 people from around the country named a MacArthur Foundation Fellow. This most prestigious award in the academic world is known as the Genius Grant. Fame is the spur for poets, and it's certainly a spur for Khaled, but that's a fame that's what's called honest fame. It's not just a desire for celebrity. He wants to change the world. Those who don't know him are, are missing a gem of a person just because uh, his, uh, his wells of emotion, uh, human sympathy are so deep.